We're here today at Twin Lakes Avionics in Twin Lakes, North Carolina. And we've got 69846 in for some avionics upgrade, installing the Flightstream 210, and uh, also getting ADSB out for the 2020 compliance. Starting now. And here we have, what's your name? My name is Bob Williamson. I work for Twin Lakes Avionics. And Bob, what did you do for 69846 today? Well, today uh, we put in a flight stream that's hooked up to the uh, GNS 530, uh, where it can uh, uh, transfer a flight plan back and forth to the iPad. Excellent. And the owner here at uh, Twin Lakes Avionics is? I'm Robbie Greer. And Robbie, uh, how long have you owned this business? I've been here since uh, 98, so... Uh, been here since 15, 98? 16, 17 years, something like that. A long-time guy that lives here in the area and uh, has been servicing all kinds of aircraft. Yeah, pretty much, yep. Yeah. And what did you see that was interesting about 69846 today, if anything? Uh, you got a nice stack in there. It's, uh, don't get lost. <laughs> you, you shouldn't be able to get lost with all that, so... Um, All right, and there was there was one other gentleman that was working on the plane today, and he is uh, he's walking to the back of the shop already. off somewhere, and now we'll get the inside of the plane. So we're going to do a quick ground test of the system to see how it works here. And here on the iPad, I've got a, a random route going from Twin Lakes over to Raleigh. Twin Lakes over to Raleigh, and I choose this, uh, chose this route here just to put some waypoints in, just to make it more interesting. And of course, we check the databases, they are correct, and checking for communication and uh, proper initializ initialization and that's fine on both and the 696 And I'll come back when they both are up and running. Uh, looks like they are now. And so in flight plan, you see that we have nothing there. And let's pull up the flight plan over here as well. Nothing there also. And here on the iPad, we got a flight plan listed, and our new button. There's a new button that says uh, load to or send to. So load from the panel or send to the panel. And we're going to send to the panel. And we say send, and we see we have a message. And check from the flight plan import page. Pending flight plan. And we're going to highlight and enter. And you can activate or store. And in our case, we're going to activate. And now I'll go back to the original page, and there it's loaded. And we don't. So we filed the flight plan successfully. And now, just to do another ground check, we're going to do that now.